If you go on to enjoy the video, do me a favour and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel a lot. And through Team of the Season, we are going to be doing a hell of a lot of player reviews. And of course, if you need any coins to get you through Team of the Season, head over to u7buy.com. Through Team of the Season, they are doing a pretty big promotion. 15% off when you use the code TVM at checkout. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to a brand new video. And it is time to review the player that I got in... Was it, who was it, a player pick? La Liga player pick, maybe? I think, I can't remember. Either way, I got him in a video two days ago, reviewed him, uh, took a day off from, uh, take a day off, took a day off from it to edit it and all the rest of it, and uh, here it is, 92 rated, Lucas Vasquez, probably one of the best, like, well-rounded cards, and in hindsight, the Sentinel probably isn't the best chem style to use. Uh, I would probably go with an Anchor, uh, rather than a sentinel but you know it worked for what i needed for the time but obviously uh, going forward i will be putting an anchor on him and i'll explain why in a second uh, let's kick things off with uh, what we've already seen four star four star high high work rates five eight average body type the the five eight thing is probably the only sort of real it's not even a negative but it, it's the only thing that i would like oh, do you know what if he was five ten or five eleven this card is one of those cards that would be just outrageous in every single position. 5'8 means that he's not going to make a very good centre-back. Uh, apart from that, though, you can play him anyway. If you give him an anchor chem style, the lowest rating he is in any single position, outfield, is 90. And that is at centre-back, where you don't want to play him anyway because he's only 5'8. So the second lowest rating is 91 as a CDM. So... If you give him an anchor, he is better than a, like most of it, like every card in the game in any position. He's a 94 rated winger, a midfielder, 93 rated right wing back. He's a 92 rated striker, 93 rated cam. Like that's better than a lot of the team of the season cards that are coming out. And he is a right wing, and he can play anyway. And that is how I'm going to review him and, and what I'm going to compare him to are other cards that are very similar to this. So Atal is a card that sort of springs to mind being very good in a lot of different areas. And that is one of the cards that I think a lot of people used as a super sub and one of those where you need a player who can play in multiple positions. I need someone who can come on and be my left back or my right back or my central midfielder or my attacker. And Vasquez is that guy. Now, I don't think I'm ever going to bring him off the bench because I'm always going to start him. And even though I've got Zanetti, I think Vasquez is probably going to be my new right wing back. For the first two games that I played with him, we, we did a bit of co-op rivals. Why not, right? Uh, I was reviewing Kunde, who I don't think I'll ever get out, to be honest, because I've played... I don't know, six or seven games now. And even though he's solid, there's nothing really wrong with him. It just didn't seem to get many sort of clip-worthy moments with him, really. Just a lot of basic stuff. Uh, but uh, I don't know, maybe maybe I'll finish it off. Maybe I won't. But anyway, Vasquez, for the first couple of games, he played as a right wing back. This is one of his free kicks. And I say one of because it's the only free kick he took. Uh, didn't get a single free kick apart from this one in about six or seven games, which is a little bit rare. But he buried it. He has 84 free kick accuracy, and he absolutely buried it. Top corner, goalkeeper moved slightly. I tell you what, I love free kicks. So they're a little bit of a little bit of a science to it. You know, I wish it was almost like a free kick game mode within uh, Ultimate Team, kind of like FIFA Mobile do little mini game modes and and scenarios and things. I really wish there was something like that in Ultimate Team, where you could complete little game modes and get packs and compete on leaderboards and stuff like that. Because I tell you what free kicks man i could sit there and take free kicks all day love them i love it when the goalkeeper moves slightly and then you have to make a decision are you going to go over, up and over the wall or around the wall or are you going to go back where the keeper was originally standing it is a mind game and i love it anyway enough about free kicks and mind games and mini games let's talk about vasquez uh, now he's playing as a i think he's a striker right now he played as a cam at one point. I moved him into the central midfield at one point as well just to see what he was like. And I didn't really find that he was bad in any position. He is better in some positions than others. I feel like he might even be a little bit wasted as a right wing back because he played there. And even though he did a solid job, 
I just didn't feel like I was getting uh, enough bang for my buck with him being in that position. You know, he's a 300k card there or thereabouts, which is not that expensive considering what you get. He's between three and 340, so I suppose there are going to be a few people who will argue against me and say that he's not really worth the money for that because he's not... I wouldn't say he's... Like, I mean, he is amazing, but he's not amazing in any one position necessarily because he's got something going against him in every which way. So, for example, as a striker, he's got a high defensive work rate. That's not ideal. As a right wing back, he's maybe not the strongest. Uh, same with right back. As a, a CDM, it's the same deal. He's not really the strongest. As a central midfield player, I suppose you could say, well, box to box wise, it's probably his most suited position because he can do a little bit of everything and he's got the work rates to suit as well. But regardless of where you decide to play him, and, and obviously, like I said, I think they're probably one of his better um, utilities or uh, attributes, that's what I'm looking for. One of his better attributes is that he can come off the bench and fill a gap wherever you need that gap. You know, if you need a striker, you can bring him on. If you need a midfielder, you can bring him on. He's one of those really super versatile players that, that there, there's a fair few of them in game, but this one, I don't know. I mean, look at that for a touch. I just, I don't see another card being able to compete with this card for the rest of the game. Unless EA do some sort of stupid promo through... I say stupid, obviously. Stupid good. Because uh, that we've changed the meaning of it, apparently. Um, yeah, unless they do some sort of stupid good promo through the summer. Where they start boosting cards left, right and centre. Look at this for a finish. Oh, cheeky. Loved it. Uh, yeah, I don't really see a card being this good in every area. Vasquez is outrageous. And so is his overall. That is the very first 100 rating that I have given a player in FIFA 21. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you for why, as my friend Bryn would say. Uh, the reason is because I've reviewed him compared to not one position. You know, I'm not reviewing him against other right wingers or right wing backs or strikers. I'm reviewing him against other cards who are able to play in multiple positions. And as far as a versatile player, this is the most versatile player in the game hands down bar none you can pick out anyone in the game and it won't come close to how good Vasquez is in each position he has four star four star which is fantastic it's the bare minimum you expect these days in terms of negative strength is the only real negative and with an anchor that goes to 82 so it's fine and he can do everything his finishing is actually really good his passing is solid his defending is solid I, I honestly I really liked him I'm not a Real Madrid fan they've knocked Liverpool out of the Champions League if anything I should hate them and of course the whole Sergio Ramos thing with Salah but you know real football aside and, and dislike of the club aside this card is unreal I am a massive fan of this card and I would urge anyone and everyone to go pick it up because you will have a use for it some way somehow let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I don't actually hate Real Madrid, by the way. Do you want to get that out there? I just, what I'm saying is I should hate them. So I'm not being biased towards him or the club. If you have enjoyed it, though, hit the like button. Like I said, subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye.